Hey there. So if you haven't been here before, I am Susan Clifton and I'm a mixed media artist. I usually work really large and I usually don't work in paper, but I have been playing a lot with jelly prints. And today we're going to do a fast collage using some papers that I purchased plus some papers that I recently made. So let's just get going. I'm going to start with a just laying down some papers in the background and I'm using this little strip at the top is actually some gold paint on black tissue that I just sort of cleaned off my brayer and I, I just love the little bit of texture it has and the little bit of sparkle that it has. It is tissue paper so it's kind of delicate but it's, it's working out just fine. So switching back to a little earlier, I created these blue papers with, I mixed the phthalo blue with an iridescent pearl and you get that really nice little iridescent sheen. And I created a, both a positive and a negative using the same stencil. So this is the positive one that I'm working on right now. And then I used the ghost print from this I, that is going to be on the bottom part of my fast collage. Okay, so back to our collage. So I'm taking that first paper that I made and I'm going to make the upper quadrant of this board. I'm going to make that the background and then the, um, the ghost print will be on the lower part. So I always make sure that I have enough medium down, especially at the on the edges of the board, because if you don't have enough of the gel medium all the way to the edge, your your papers might come up on the on the edges. So before I forget, if you like this type of video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more collage and jelly print making in the near future. Okay, so let's get back to this. So <clears throat> I'm trying to get a nice clean edge at the bottom. I'm going to go back in and um, add a little more gel medium on top. So you really have to make sure you have enough gel medium to really, and get all those bubbles out. You really got to make sure that you've got enough there to really stick it to the board. Uh, this is a rice paper, so it does tend to bubble a little bit. I use my catalyst wedge to really smooth it out. And I'm going over that, those edges again, especially on the very edge of the board on both sides. <coughs> And I find that even if it still looks like there's bubbles, when it dries, that bubble's gone. I don't know if that's just because of this type of paper, but um, I still try to get as many of the bubbles out as I possibly can. So I also have this beautiful paper that I made last month that really goes very well with this. So I tore a little piece off, give it a little bit of a ragged edge. I just wanted to add a little bit of circle to this collage, I think. We're going to have a lot of square parts. I like the little bit of circle in there. And then our, of course, our template was also very, you know, sort of curly cue. Um, here goes the ghost print, which of course I absolutely love. I'm always much happier with the ghost prints. I don't know why, but um, yep, smoothing down that edge again, just in case. And 
And now I'm turning the board over to cut off the edges just so I can visualize better how this is coming along. I always angle my blade in a little bit. So when I cut that top piece earlier, I just eyeballed it. And now I'm making sure it's really straight. I always trust my eyes and I really shouldn't. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a little bit off. Okay, so now we're going to put on that bottom piece. Leave me a comment below and let me know which one of the papers did you like, the positive or the negative. I don't know why I'm such a big fan of the ghost print, but I am. Maybe it's because it adds that additional little edge all the way around, almost sort of outlines the design. definitely helpful to always keep a little t-square around especially when you're working small all right let's get that extra paper trimmed off So I got some of these like transparent textured papers in a, um, a set that I set away for that just had um, little samples, tiny little samples. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find these in bigger sheets, but um, that one with the circles, I sort of cut around the circles a little bit. Again, I wanted to incorporate circles this yellow piece is from some paper that I made a month or two ago, I guess. And this other transparent paper had these white fibers going through it. I felt it had the same feeling as these backgrounds. So, um, but I'm trying to add a little pop of color here. So I'm playing around with where I might want that color to be coming from. I definitely like the yellows and the gold but gotta have a little bit of orange in there. So I'm, I'm just playing with some ideas. Not sure where this is gonna take me. So I decided I wanted to bring in a little bit more of that gold paper. So I'm just freehanding a, freehand cutting, I guess you would call it, um, a little piece of that. I always like to bring the eye around a little bit. We have that gold at the top. I needed to introduce it somewhere else. The only thing I'm really sure about is where that circle paper is going. Not sure about the rest of it yet. Nope, that's definitely not good. What am I thinking there? And I love how you can see through these transparent papers. I definitely want to play more with, with them. I need to get bigger sheets. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. And I'm making this iron shape, which actually was something I, I designed on Procreate. 
and I actually created stencils with it. But in this case, I just cut one out, traced it, cut it out. Very happy with that shape, I love it. Okay, so we're starting to make some decisions here. We haven't glued anything down yet, but here we go. That was for sure, I'm keeping that at the top. This is a, a fast and easy exercise. I mean, we don't, there's nothing precious about this. It's tiny, it's on an inexpensive board. I'm not using anything super expensive here. I'm just playing with composition and some new materials just to see how they react. Um, definitely gonna buy more of this paper. Don't know what it's called, I gotta look it up. <clears throat> but um, I like it. So that's all I'm doing here. It's not anything that's, you know, gonna be in a show or anything like that. Just having fun playing with papers and playing with different colors and seeing how they work together. So if, you, if this is the first time you're here, you, probably, you might not be aware that I do these larger paintings. And sometimes if I want to transition that work or evolve that work into something else, I tend to work small and I do these kind of playful collages or paintings or whatever and I suddenly come up with an idea that I can incorporate into my larger work. So that is important for an artist to constantly work with new materials, new tools and just see where it takes them so that you can then evolve your important work, your main work, the, the work that you put up for sale, um, that is, can get stagnant sometimes. If you just keep doing the same old thing all of the time and you don't ever incorporate something new, the work doesn't move forward. So I'm definitely in, in a space right now where I'm looking to evolve my work. And so I've been playing a lot. And I'm not exactly sure how it's going to change my work, but it most definitely will a little bit. So I decided that that little black and white piece just needed to be in here. We needed a little bit of contrast. And um, so, I'm sorry, my camera kind of kind of died on for a second there. But um, I really in, needed that little piece. My eye needed it. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but I do like black and white. And whenever I don't have any black and white in a painting, uh, something's missing. <clears throat> I always feel something's missing. Okay, so now I'm just doing some little touch-ups, making sure everything's really laying down flat. And I'm going to trim off the edges again. We're about ready to have a storm, so hopefully you will not hear thunder and lightning. I live in Florida and we have loud thunderstorms. <laughs> so let's try to get this done before that starts. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and do some light touch up with some more gel medium, just making sure that everything is laying nice and flat and really adhered nicely. 
and then we're finished. So that's it for today. But this was just a short little collage. Not every collage has to be, you know, super planned out or whatever. I just wanted to pick some papers, limit my colors, and see what I come up with. Anyway, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. See you next time. Bye-bye.